I was never going to become an officer, so I figured... I was an officer. You were? I graduate from Annapolis. You miss it? <laughs> Every day. This show, with this season, it really focuses on what it means to be closeted and what it means to keep secrets and be persecuted for loving who you love and feeling how you feel. The Don't Ask, Don't Tell episode uses the idea of coming out or the fear of coming out to tell the story of growing up gay in the 90s. One of Andrew's victims, Jeff Trail, was a member of the military. He was not discharged for being gay, but he felt that he had reached a certain point in his career where he was frozen. How humiliating. All the straight soldiers, the ones saying no fags in the military, they get to be out in the open, right, with their uniforms on, looking dignified. Yes. And you, you get to be in the shadows. We have these bookended scenes which juxtapose the two worlds. You never served your country. You don't understand. No, I, I don't understand. Look how they treated you. You have never believed in anything except yourself. A soldier who has no recourse, but why he feels it's important to come out. On the other hand, we have Johnny Versace, who's a world-famous designer. Why am I still here? To be afraid. Those two scenes, it's sort of like the scene of someone who has a voice and has privilege, and then someone who doesn't. The rock stars, the actors, the royalty whose endorsements we cherish, they might not want to be associated with us. It's amazing how drastically the world has changed, and at the same time, we're still dealing with some of the issues that made these stories relevant. The women we designed for, they're fearless. They're not ashamed. This is not the same. Is the brand ever such a braver than the men? It was a big deal. It was a big deal then. Many designers were gay, but very few of them were out. For 13 years, I've been mistaken for a Genesis assistant. Ah, this is your idea. Enough. Enough, both of you. Still, today, we are dealing with a lot of issues that Gianni was struggling with in the 90s. You know, fear and prejudice manifests itself in different ways. Hi. Unfortunately, it seems to always find a way to be relevant. Antonio. One of the saddest scenes that I had to shoot was me as Gianni's lover not being able to hold his hand because he was afraid that paparazzis might take pictures of him. We have been together for 13 years. If that's okay, I would like to conduct the interview together. Gianni had chosen to live his life openly as a gay man, which doesn't seem that radical today, but was incredibly radical then. And when Andrew killed him, there was a panic. There was a panic among gay men across America that there was a guy going to kill openly gay men. And then a lot of the news broadcasts focused on how could Gianni Versace have brought this on himself. It is sad to look back and realize that one of the main reasons they never caught Andrew Kananen is because law enforcement, many of them did not want to enter gay clubs and they did not want to enmesh themselves in the world in the way that they would need to to properly find this killer. What does it mean to intervene with these communities? Are they afraid of the community itself or are they afraid of the community thinking they're afraid of them? I'm a good sailor going nowhere because they know. How they know? I saved a sailor's life once. He was being beaten to death for being gay. I think the takeaway from this episode may be a reminder that in the not so distant past, people were struggling really hard to be allowed to be who they are. And I can't tell you how many times I've dreamt about taking that moment back and letting him die, just so that people wouldn't know about me. How can we do better? How can we do better? How do you watch this story and what do you get out of it? It's that we all have to be better. Hey, Jeff, it's Mom. Where are you? There's a lot of these things that sort of allow these horrible things to keep happening. It really blows your mind.